So far Eric Ten Hag has explained what he wants from his staff and players. One of the senior players said if the training session goes intense, not only for the physical, but also the mind. Eric Ten Hag wants the players to keep thinking. Eric Ten Hag leads every element of the exercise. This is a change from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's usual approach of letting McKenna, Carrick and Phelan lead the session, an approach that was judged to give more freedom. In the era of Ralph Rangnick, Chris Armas led training that focused on what they wanted to do with the ball. Neither Ole nor Rangnick intervened much to make sure the drills were carried out properly. Assisted by Van der Gogh and McLaren, Eric Ten Hag focused on possession from the start. The manager's in-depth analysis highlighted United's problem in the squad's fear of obscurity of goal when they have the ball. Under Solskjaer, Manchester United were set up to be the dominant team on the counterattack, but there was no clear structure to build attacks and also a series of passes that supported ball possession. Meanwhile, Ralph Rangnick is obsessed with revamping the back line that he considered a complete mess when he inherited the Solskjaer team. This makes him not focus too much on building attacks that he also wants to implement. Eric Ten Hag wants all his players without exception to feel comfortable having the ball at their feet, with a mind focused on making crucial decisions on the pitch. Whenever he saw something that didn't fit, he intervened. So far, Eric Ten Hag has been quite clear in giving direction when mistakes are made by the players in preseason training sessions. He can often be heard saying things like, that's not good enough, give it your maximum, 